So, um, also with your email that came in, I did just as a note, I saved all of your images into a uh, file called IG1304 LM burn article. And um, it includes the JPEGs. The reason that, that uh, we, there, there were something else that we're supposed to do when we submit an article, especially through Brian, is that it's supposed to, or Brian is supposed to identify whether it's going in the magazine or not. And in the case of this, this is definitely going in the magazine. And that has to be indicated in, in our form as well. And I'm going to talk to you more about that later, but just so you're, you're aware of it, that we have to indicate where that this article is supposed to be posted. And that's supposed to be indicated in the email I made up as well. We I, we haven't finalized how we're going to approach this yet. That's why I didn't talk about it in in the um, in the email. But in the case of this, it should definitely be going out in the newsletter. And um, I think with you, with where you're at now, we should be starting to do uh, thinking along the lines of a lower mainland exclusive content oriented uh, exclusive. Yeah, newsletter, I'd say once a month that that's going to work for you. And then we can start reaching out to people to uh, uh, you know, retweet the fact that the newsletter is out, to send out an, a list to their people. Uh, I'll, we'll do trades where I'll promote them and they can promote us. And that's where we want to get to with this, just as an aside. So you can see here that I've got uh, your Alfie Posting 1 movie um, and the two images that you, that you gave to me. So I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. So we've got our, our uh, text here. Now, so when this comes in like this, basically uh, there's one other thing we need to do, which is to deal with the images. So if I go to the, my desktop here and find your two images, the first thing I, that, that needs to be done, I'm just going to open them both. And um, there's a few things that are, that are obviously obvious here. Whoever put this in, you know, I don't really like that stuff too much. If you put it in, that's not a good thing. If they put it in, it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. But um, this image, this image is not great. Okay, so I'm just going to check the size of it first. So it is eight by six at two hundred. We can take. I, I, I care about what it is at three hundred, just for my own use. So this is a, a five point three by four inch image, uh, which is fine, a good size. So I'm going to hit that. I just hit OK on that. All images that we deal with should be converted to CMYK mode. It's at 300 resolution. Um, I'm going to fix this. You can just watch how I do this in case you care. It, uh, I'm gonna, uh, we use a lot. Uh, uh, knowing how to fix images is important. That sort of fixes this. This is quite a grainy image, by the way. I'll, I'll, sometimes I'll take a look at the contrast, but I really don't. In this case here, it's not really that important. I will fix this graininess here just so you guys uh, you can see this. Uh, D speckle is one that generally does a good job and then I would run on this a unsharp mask and that's not bad this is not gonna get much better it certainly isn't wrong um, but if we zoomed in here on this you'd see that this is a pretty tough image to begin with uh, and if I undo that D speckle or that sorry that unsharp mask you can see it's still not not great. It's, this was a bad image to begin with. Anyway, be that as it may, it's not uh, totally wrong. So in the case of this, this is not the one I'm going to use for the front, uh, crop this for the front cover. I'm now going to save this as a TIFF. I'm going to call it uh, uh, TIFF because that's what, uh, this makes this ready for the use in the magazine. We use TIFF format in the magazine so that we know that it's been processed. I turn to uh, CMYK and turn to 300 resolution and also tweaked whatever way. So I don't really care what it's called too much in this case, but I am going to use this on the on the website. So in the case of the website, um, option Apple I brings up image size. I'll show that to where he's up here. Just, just in case you're not. Um, sometimes I don't even know where these things are. Here it is, uh, image size. Okay, no, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, sorry, image size, yes. Right, so you can see that here. In the case of the uh, of the um, website, we really only need it. Only, screens only show at 172 DPI. We don't turn it that low, but I'm going to turn this down to 120. Uh, uh, so I'm going to resample the image and just make it about six inches. So instead of being seven megabytes in size, it's 1.6. Basically, it's, the reason I do this is because what we're going to do now is we're going to save for web and devices, 
And the short, short form keystroke command for that is beside you. So that's Option Apple Shift S if you want to do it. But it comes up like uh, it brings up this screen here now, and you'll see that um, I'm going to run through the qualities. My default quality is 50%. It's a JPEG. Uh, compression quality, medium, optimized, all this is fine. Notice that the width here is 750 pixels. The maximum size that we want to run for in, in, in the body text of our, of our articles is 460. So I'm just going to hit that and hit the tab key and that saves it. Now it's the correct size, the correct width. The height we don't really care about. It can be any height, but it has to be 460 wide. Otherwise, it'll blow up our website. It'll, it'll screw things up. So I'm now going to hit save, and the saving here is um, I'm going to over I start here and go. Uh, this in this case, it's 13.04.01 hyphen Bernie Elementary program. Fine. Uh, in this case, we also I also go 460 at the end to indicate the uh, width of the, the indicating that it's a wide image. This is a fairly long name, um, but it's okay. And now that image has been processed both for the magazine and the website, and I can close it. And I don't need to save it. Oh, because uh, I don't want to save it because the image size was changed here. I remember I downsized it. So I'm not going to save that. Now I've got the other image. The first thing I've got here is I've also got what I need for the, uh, uh, for the intro image, which has to be square. So I'm just going to copy out the area that approximate that I want. Apple N for a new new one. Apple V. Then I grab my crop tool. You notice we just, in my case, if you click select the crop tool before you have uh, an, uh, any image open, it just uh, you can preset your size. So you see my width of mine is 200 pixels by 200 pixels uh, in dimensions. So when I drag this out, holding the shift key down, lo and behold, it's it's now I've got my image that's exactly the right size. Now I go my, down up to my save for web and devices and see it's already 200 by 200 pixels at 50 and the size of that is 12k good size image hit save this I would call uh, 1303 dot uh, sorry 04 uh -huh, 01 hyphen berm golf 200 notice the key components is to put the the date and the size beyond that, it's just how you want to how you want to indicate it. And then you hit OK, and that is now our image ready to go out. So understand, I don't need this for the magazine. Um, like this is not usable for the magazine. Uh, it's just the original. So I'll just close this. I don't need this anymore. I'm back to the original one. I'm just going to take this entire image, go out, uh, bring up the image size. I'm going to look at that and and make sure that it's all locked so that it's going to, when I go to 300 here, you'll see that this is actually an 8 by 6 image, which is a good size. It means I can crop it quite well in the magazine. Switch this to uh, mode to CMYK, and then uh, go Apple Shift S, which is save as, save it as a TIFF, call it IG04 hyphen uh, And this is the correct uh, uh, naming conventions. IG04, sorry, sorry, IG1304 hyphen berm high school high school is tip, it's fine. Now, uh, something else I should note here is that there was no photo credits put in the images. That should have happened as well. Okay, so now you've given a sort of a quick quick viewing of how to do a uh, uh, prepare your images. I'm going to quit this this recording now and, and save this one as a, as part two, and we'll move on to the next one.